I'm going to take just a minute to tell you about retweets. If you've been on Twitter long, you've probably heard about those. I'm going to show you what they are. And there's actually two different ways you can retweet another post. Uh, but simply put, they're just a way to share someone else's post with your followers. Um, this is often breaking news and that kind of thing will get retweeted tens of thousands of times, um, you know, reaching the mass of Twitter pretty quickly. And this can happen for good news or bad news or fake news or anything. So you got to kind of be careful. Um, but a lot of times you'll see someone's post that you think is pretty cool or useful or informative. You want to share it with your followers. So there's two ways to do that. Um, and I've got Chris Coltrane pulled up because he's actually retweeted both ways. The old way was to say RT, put the username of the person's post you were going to retweet, and then copy it here. That was kind of a way to spread it along. It worked, worked pretty well. actually became very popular. It was sort of another user-generated thing that Twitter hadn't thought about. Um, that worked. And a lot of people still do that. But now Twitter has an official retweet system where... Right now I'm on Chris's page, so technically all I should see is his posts, but I'm seeing some from Tabloid Watch and uh, Mahari McElpine, I guess, um, like their posts on this page, but I'm on his page. What's the deal? It's because he's retweeted them using the new style Twitter retweet. So what happens then is it basically puts their actual post in the middle of my stream here. So if I were to follow Chris but didn't follow Tabloid Watch, I would now see this post from Tabloid Watch because it was retweeted. So it's kind of a cool way to spread things around. Um, helps you actually see what's more more about the post than here like with Rosalind Warren's post I see what she said but it's still his picture and his name it's kinda cool it makes it stand out more uh, and here's how you do that so we'll go like back to Michael Hyatt um, we'll go up to the top here and so he test drove these e-bikes might think that's pretty cool so retweeting it is as simple as clicking the retweet button and it gives you it's just gonna show you what you're gonna say and click retweet and you're done uh, on Twitter, there's not an easy way to do the old style retweets. Uh, with most Twitter clients, if you use TweetDeck or Hootsuite or any of those, they'll usually give you a choice when you hit retweet. They'll say, do you want to do it the old way or the new way? And you can choose. In some cases, it makes sense to do it one way or the other. Uh, you can still do it on Twitter manually if you wanted. You could just cut and paste, and copy that, paste it in here, and then just put RT in front so people know it's a retweet. Um, and we could just tweet that out then, and that would essentially be the same thing. Uh, but in either case, you know, it can be useful to retweet other people's information. It helps promote them, but also helps promote you as more of a more of an expert and help people understand what what you're passionate about. And ultimately, that's always a good thing to to people know for people to know what you're passionate about, and also to see that you know what you're talking about and you have good sources and sharing good information. It's it's useful for everyone. So uh, don't retweet too much, but when appropriate, certainly use it.